All right, so do you like to sleep with the lights on or maybe you work the overnight shift and it's hard to get a dark night's sleep? Well, listen to this. The American Medical Association now says some serious adverse health effects have been associated to artificial light at night. UConn cancer epidemiologist and professor Richard Stevens is here to talk more about this. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you very much. An important statement we now have and we need to learn how to adjust accordingly. So first of all, what does that tell us? Them coming out saying that this is this is serious. It's a big policy statement. I got involved in this area about 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why breast cancer was so common in the modern world and it's not diet. We thought it had to be diet. But right. It's not. So I thought it might be something about electric lighting. And over the years, evidence has been starting to grow. This lighting does affect hormones, and that's what the American Medical Association has now declared as po official policy in June. And that's a big turning point for this area. And, and you noticed that when things started changing um, in terms of industrialization, when people started working at night, back in the 30s, et cetera, and moving forward, uh, that's really when you started seeing the, the health problems start to spike. We're talking about obesity, diabetes, and breast cancer as well. Yeah, I got involved in breast cancer specifically and right. then studies of shift workers. And about four years ago, the World Health Organization declared shift work a probable carcinogen. Now, that was a big Yikes. turning point, too. But this circadian disruption, our body clock disruption, has implications for diabetes, as you said, obesity, and depression. Hmm. And we know that shift workers suffer all those things. It might be because of the electric lighting. And we need, our bodies need melatonin, right? We get that from, from darkness, right? Our bodies need it to be dark. Uh, a lot of people might say, well, I'll just take a melatonin supplement, big deal, I've, I've beaten the whole thing. Well, we've evolved for billions of years, actually, as life on the planet, with dark nights and lighted days. And under those circumstances, our melatonin should go up at night, and it does in the dark. Nowadays in the modern world, we, we get uh, lighted nights and d dark days, essentially. Light we're pollution's buildings. everywhere, sure, Absolutely. yeah. So our, our body clock is thrown off. Melatonin doesn't know when to come up or not. Boy, we're and, in pickle. But a tablet, <laughs> but, a, but a supplement is not the way to go. Okay. The, the best we can, because the supplement itself can actually change your body rhythm. Which you don't want to do. Don't, we, we don't want to do that. So we're trying to figure out how to do lighting technology better in the evening to not disrupt the body clock so much. And the AMA policy statement actually says that specifically. Let's work on lighting technologies that are better for the circadian system. And what can the, the average viewer right now take away from this? What is the moral of the story? What should they get out of this? Okay, we get it. We're supposed to get more, you know, better sleep, darker nights. Uh, what's a simple takeaway they can get from this and, and make themselves healthier? If you're able, take a walk in the morning, because we're also not getting that sun in the morning. And at night, if you wake up in the middle of the night, have a dim red light in the bathroom, for example. Try to have dim lights for the first few hours in the evening. We've now learned that the, even that dim light can affect your circadian rhythm. So try to keep it as dim as you can. Okay, clearly very, very important. I mean, look at the, the things that can happen with our help. So thank you so much for coming in and shedding a little light on this. Pun thank intended. you very much. We appreciate it.